All right, we're back at it like a bad habit over at the Dart Zone booth. Thanks for staying tuned. I split the videos for the clicks, obviously. No, thank you for the clicks, but uh, it makes more sense. It's easier for the algorithm to search things. So this is the upcoming Nexus Pro X, also coming mid-April. I think that this color scheme is here to stay. I think that this is gonna be what we get in the US. It comes with a ton of accessories here. Obviously, you can pick and choose which ones you like more, but it's shipping with the new Dart Zone roller bearing scar. That's three lines of four rollers each. Pretty exciting there. Then you have the physical scar with the six strings, quote unquote, in it. It looks like this would fit there. I don't know what's going on there. That's kind of exciting, but if you wanted to, you could store it above. I actually like that look more, but I don't tend to like things stored on the side of my blaster. We've got pick rail on both sides and then a full pick rail flat top. Interestingly enough, a lot of people that was the first thing that they did to their original Nexus Pro is they converted it using 3D printed Greeblies to a flat top. And they've made the room for that flat top by implementing this new skinny pusher-esque technology where the pusher itself is uh, disconnected from the pneumatics of the blaster, which is very exciting. So you've got this kind of like bump out here. I imagine that when we get inside it, this molding will make more sense. But overall, uh, complete change of grip. The grip is now an AFG, eerily similar to something we put together four years ago. Very handsome. And then this, uh, eerily similar to something that the military put together, you know, four score and seven years ago when they were dealing with some serious issues. We've got a stock here and then a buffer tube. This looks to be a shortened, almost like carbine link stock. And then uh, this attaches on. Pretty cool. It's got a button on the back here. I wonder what that does. Anybody want? There's storage. You could put your tactical M&Ms in the storage on the stock. How cool is that? I think that's neat. I wonder how long it'll take for somebody to 3D print something that goes onto the back here. Not too terribly long, I imagine. You get the standard kind of iron sight combo. This is pretty inexpensive. Ooh, they line up nicely, actually. It makes sense why it's using this height as opposed to the one on the Aeon. You get a orange dot through the back end of your, uh, your scope here if you line it up properly and then while, you know, not explicitly a cheek rest, the overall ergo of the blaster is improved. It's impossible to deny that. Now, in addition to that being improved, the FPS is better. So the original Nexus Pro, this is the European model, of course, was up to 47 meters per second, which if we translate it is like roughly up to 165, 70-ish feet per second. This one's clocking in at 200 feet per second. We got to get it over the chronograph to confirm, obviously, but it's got the standard F for fire, S for safe. It's doing this new thing where you can tell gone is the multi-mag well, and we're using an explicitly half-length magazine mag well. Very clean, along with the, uh, the new, very Talon-esque upgraded dart zone mags. These are 12 rounds. You've got two different options for dropping. You have this one, kind of like a rocker style release. This is gonna be very familiar to a lot of players, but also uh, this doesn't push out, this pulls in. And when it pulls in, it's got a very clean gravity drop there, which I really dig. So let's go put uh, the entire magazine through its paces down the target and see what we're up against. At 200 FPS, this is gonna be whipping into these targets here, these very well-loved targets. Reloads are quick and clean. I want a tower of these at the studio. This is, this is a very reactive targeting setup, perhaps a less beat up version of this, but uh, I think that these are pretty sweet. Anyway, that, uh, that more or less takes care of, um, looks like my video is being poached, lad. That more or less takes care of our video review of the Nexus Pro X, just a very serious, primary class blaster delivering hits downrange at 200 FPS. This is ready for competitions out of the box. And I think truly the spiritual successor to the original where, you know, for 50 United States dollars, you're 100% in it, competitive, ready to run a five-man team in the tournament of your choosing. A really exciting offering, lots of upgraded features and keeping that price point consistent is a really, really cool upgrade. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you in the comments down below with your opinions. Be responding to those throughout the day. Keep in mind, I think I'm six hours ahead of most of you right now, nine hours ahead of the ones in Cali land. But I will see you guys in the next video as we continue to cover the Spielfafassen show. <laughs> much love, blast off, track out.